Well, good afternoon or good evening. Praise God. God bless you this evening. And I hope you all gave God some praise and glory today. Not just today because of Sunday, but every day. Hallelujah. Thank you for tuning on to me once again. Praise God as always. I want to um, share with you talking about loving others. Loving others. Praise God. It is so easy to love the one who you want to love, but try to love others. I'm going to read about loving others. It says, so now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciple. And that's also in the book of John, chapter 13, verse 34 and verse 35. Jesus said that our Christ-like love will show that we are his disciple. Do people see petty pittering jealously and division in your church or do they know you are Jesus followed by your love for one another I command you to love each other in the same way that I love you and here is how to measure it the greatest love is showing when people lay down their lives for their friend you are my friend if you obey me. John chapter 15 verse 12 through 14. We are to love each other as Jesus loved us. And he loved us enough to give his life for us. We may not have to die for someone. But there are other ways to practice uh, sacrificial uh, love. Listen, helping, encouraging, giving, thank of someone in particular who needs this kind of love today. Give all the love. I mean, say give all the love you can. And then try to give a little more. I command you to love each other when the world hates you. Remember, it hated me before it hated you. The world would love you if you belong to it, but you don't. I choose you to come out of the world and so it hates you. You know, when you come out of the world, you're not doing the world, say do you not following the world, you know, instruction and you on God's level, you don't know what God say do, then the world will hate you when you do them things, when you do what God say do. Um, that's also in the book of John chapter fifteen, verse seventeen through nineteen. Christians will be plenty of hatreds from the world from each other. We need love and support. Do you allow small problems to get in the way of loving other believers? Jesus command that you love them and he will give you the strength to do it. You have heard that the law of Moses says love your neighbors and hate your enemies. But I say love your enemies. Pray for those who prosecute you. In that way, you will be acting as true children of your Father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good. And he sent rain on the just and on the unjust too. And that's also in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 43 through 45. By telling us not to uh, retaliate. Jesus keep us from taking the law into our own hands by loving and praying for our enemies. We can overcome evil with good. But if you are willing to listen, I say love your enemy. Do good to those who hate you. Pray for those happiness of those who uh, hurt you. Pray for those. It says for. It says pray for those who hurt you. If someone slap you on one cheek, turn the other cheek. If someone demands your coat off of your shirt, also give. It says also give what you have to anyone who asks you for it. And when things are taken away from you, don't try to get them back. Don't try to get them back. You know, when things are, are taken away from you, don't even try to get them, get them back. Do for it says do for others as you would like them to do for you, and that's also in the book of Luke chapter six verse twenty seven to thirty one. Jesus fired the Romans because thou oppressed God's people, but Jesus told 
the people to love these enemies. Such world turned many away from Christ. But Jesus wasn't talking about having affection for enemies. He was talking about an act of the will. You, you can't fall into this kind of love. It takes conscious effort. effort. Loving our enemies means acting in their best interest. We can pray for them and we can think a way to help them. Jesus loved the whole world even though the world was in rebellion against God. Jesus asked us to follow his example by loving our enemies. Grant your enemies the same respect and right that you desire for yourself. Do you think you deserve credit merely for loving those who love you? Even the sinners do that. If you do good only to those who do good to you, is that so wonderful? Even sinners do that much. And if you lend money only to those who can repay you, you know, can repay you back, it says, what good is that? Even sinners will lend to their own kind for a full return. And that's also the book of Luke chapter 6, verse 32 to 34. It says, love means action. One way to put love to work is to take the initiative in meet in meeting specific you know specific need. It says this is easy to do with people when we trust, but love means doing this even to those who dislike us or hurt us. You still do them things. You still do good in other words. You still love them whether they do hurt you or not. You still oppose the love. That's what it's saying. It says the money we give others should be a gift. Not a high interest loan that will be, you know, that will be put a burden on them. Give a, you know, give a thought you are. Give it to God. You know, give it through you is given to God. It says a Jewish man was traveling on a trip from Jerusalem to Jericho and he has I mean he was attacked by a bandit they striped it, him of his clothes and money beat him up and left him half dead beside the road by chance the Jewish priest came along but when he saw the man lying there he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by like he didn't care he just kept on going seeing him on the other side of the road you know like you see somebody on the road a land there, whatever, you keep on going. You keep on passing about like you didn't, like you didn't even see that. It says the temporary assist, assistant walked over to look at him lying there, but he also passed by on the other side. Then the despised Samaritan came along, and when he saw the man, he felt deep pity. Kneeling beside him, the Samaritan smoothed his wound with medicine and bandage, you know, bandage him. You know, banished them. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two pieces of silver and told him to take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than that, he said, "I'll pay the difference. I'll, I'll pay the difference the next time I am here." Now, which of these three? Would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandit? Jesus asked, Jesus asked. The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. And that's also in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 30 to 37. And I'd be like thinking, you know, like out here in this real world, whether you're a Christian or not, you know, Love is love. You know, God say love. You know, I mean, it's like you see somebody need help. You see somebody out suck, out out the world, probably got hurt. Make an example, same what he was saying. You know, look around you now, right now today. Would you keep on going? Would you try to help somebody? You see them laying in the road, laying on the side of the curb or whatever. Would you stop and help them? You see somebody uh, need a jump, you know, a car won't start, or they might just need a jump for them to get a boost to uh, keep on for them to go ahead on and do what they got to do. You know, would you just 
pass them on by like, oh, well, that's their problem. Yeah, that's not no love. <laughs> uh, kind of remind me of back then, you know, the last year, actually, you know what I mean? You know, somebody needed help. You know, I'm pumping my gas, and I just happened to look over across the way, you know, in the parking lot, rather, and seeing this lady. It like she was crying from a distance, but I couldn't tell for sure until I got over there closer. You know, I said when I get done pumping my gas, I'm going to go over there. You know, matter of fact, I ain't even finished pumping my gas. I just stopped what I was doing. I went over there and just to see was everything okay. Did she need to jump or something, anything. You know, I mean, she said, yes, I was waiting on my husband and everything. You know, give me jump and everything. He ain't showed up yet. And I said, soon I come back from my gas, I'll be right back. If I need to jump, I'll help you out. You know, do what I can. So after I got done... When I back over there, get a jump across the store, store, you know, I can see clothes in the car and everything, and I see your son, I, you know, imagine that's your son, about nine or ten years old, like they've been sleeping in the car, or they're moving, they're doing something, I don't know, and I'm just picture myself in that situation, I've been there in that situation before, whatever, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, I did go over there for help, you know, and, you know, I called one store, and so she said, don't worry about it. You know, I mean, I tried. I did go out and reach out, and I said, thank you for me to do for you. I mean, one store, she said, no. She said, well, thank you. And, you know, and that for a lighter, I said, well, I don't smoke. I got a light in my car. I can just reach out, you know, and get to you, you know, other than that. You know, I don't have a match or nothing like that. But other than that, you know, it's just like, you know, I went out to go see about this strange. I don't know. I never did see it before in my life, but, you know, just... You know, when I just tried to help her, and, you know, and just stopped doing what I was doing, and, you know, I mean, if that's not love, I don't know what it is. You know, and, um, I mean, complete stranger. I mean, I couldn't see the boy in the car from a distance. I just seen this lady out, you know, like she was crying from a distance and everything. I just, you know, when I knew her, her hood was up, so it's like, let me go see what I can do. I got some jumping cable. I know what to do and everything, and, I mean, I know about matching the positive with the positive, the negative with the negative. I do know about fall, you know, because... My dad used to be a mechanic, you know, not just used to be a, uh, a good child player. He was also a mechanic, too, but praise God. Learning things from him, the little bit that I did learn from him, praise God, but I do know what I was doing. I know a little bit about cars. And so she appreciated everything, and, I, you know, after I got, you know, done, but it just, you know, all night long, it just, I just got to think about this lady. I'm not thinking and thinking. And I'm going to go back over there and see that she got a car started, and she's still over there well or something. I, was, I went back over there the next day to see. Did she get a car moved, or she's still over there, or, or whatever? Uh, I don't know if she was, you know, sitting in the car, or whatever. Went back over there, and she was gone. I mean, the car was gone. Some as well, shoot. Maybe she got on, got got on, got a tow truck or something. I don't know, boy. But I did go back over. If not, I might even know. You know, I was like thinking about it all night long. Wish I could smoke, do more, or something that I could just do. You know, do more. I mean, because if she was still over, I would sit in my battery out and put it in her car and start, you know, went on from there. You see where the car started up. But, you know, praise God. You know, that's love. Praise God. But anyway, it says here, there was deep hatred between Jews and Samaritans. The Jews saw themselves as plural, as plural descendants of Abraham. You know why the Samaritans were a mixed race produce, you know, produce. When Jews, when Jews from the northern kingdom intermarriage with our people after Israel exiled to this legal expert, the person least likely to act correctly would be the Samaritan. In fact, he could not bear to say the word Samaritan in, an, in answer to Jesus' question. This expert's attitude betrayed his lack to the very thing that he had early said the law commands love and that's what the law just that and that's what the law commanded the law command love and that's what this i'm reading out the jesus said but this the jesus said love praise god hallelujah i'm gonna uh, also share with y'all gonna say something else about love uh, people be borrowing money and everything. They be want something back and want something in return. They want you to pay even more interest. Some people you just give it to them. You know, God bless you with it. You know, to have, give it to them. Let them have it. You know, you feel like, well, I ain't do nothing. They got they bother me over and over and over. And I mean, keep on asking. You know, and they ain't paying back. And I'm like, they ain't no. Let them have it. You know, these work. Let's focus on what God has. God bless you with it to have it in the first place for you to to share with somebody. You never know who will need it. You know, regardless if it's somebody over and over and over, you know, God, you know, 
bless you to have it. Why you can't share it with somebody else? Why you want to show off somebody else's interest or so waiting for somebody to pay you back? You know, that's not love. I just want to read, uh, talking about authority here, out of Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 to 28. It says, oh, God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the falls foes of the air and over every living thing that move upon the earth Genesis chapter 9 verse 2 says and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every foes foes of the air upon all that moves upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea into your hands are they delivered Luke chapter 10 verse 19 says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpent and scorpion and over all the power of the enemies, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Ephesians um, chapter 1 verse 19 and verse 22 and 23 says, And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us work, who believe according to the workers to the workers of his mighty power and hath put all things under his feet. He gave him to be the head of all things to the church, which is his body, the fulfillment of him that filled it all in all. Praise God. He filled it all in all. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you and God keep the hope of everyone that, uh, you know, the one that I know there's the will of the way. God has made a way for you to do what you're supposed to do. I mean, I just hope everyone, uh, you know, gave God some praise and the glory, not just on Sunday, but every day all the time. You know, you ain't got to just wait till Sunday to give God some praise. You know, praise God. Hallelujah. Um, I don't have too much to share right now, but I just thank God. God is good. You know, God is love. You know, he wants us to love, you know, not suspecting something in return. You do that, do that, then you want something in return. You feel like you uh, being used and all this. Stuff. God knows who's who, who's doing who. Don't even worry about them. God will take care of you. Praise God. I mean, every <laughs> time I feel I was being used by somebody, you know, I'm like, if I see my, I, I, in my mind, it's like if I see myself giving more than another person is giving and doing, I'm being played. I'm being used. You know, but at the same time, God not going to put too much on you for you to not know what to do or what not to do. You know, he already going to know. He already knows your heart. You know, I'm like, you know, when I see myself doing I'm like, I said, this got to stop. If I'm seeing myself, I mean, I'm, like, I'm not giving no more. Cause I'm, you know, you do, I'm doing more for you than you're doing for me. You know, but at the same time, my blessings come from God. You know, when they think they're using me, they're really not. Because God supplied my all, all my ever need according to his riches, you know, so I put up my mind, but how my mind was set then, you know, it's like, you know, God transformed my mind, it's like, you know, my blessings come from God, the more they think they use, they probably think they are, but I'm getting more from God every time, it's like double my up every time, when they think I'm running out, God supply my, all. you know, God, God is making double, he just make a triple some kind of way, I mean, I'll be like, well, thank you, Lord, I ain't even got more than what I ain't gave out, but praise God, you know, he'll make a way, praise God, you feel that way, whatever you ever thought and felt that way before. Did you know, don't even think all the negative. You know, just thank you that God blessed me. God blessed me to have it in the first place, and God wants me to have more. And God going to give me more, praise God. So I'm going to help others, I'm going to do this, I'm going to, you know, do that, whatever, you know, because God knows my heart. And when he knows your heart, you know, and how love of a person you will, you just, you know, give because you love. That's it. You just not look for something in return. That's not how God is. You know, wait for something in return. I do this. I do that. I did this for you. You know what I'm going to get in return. What I'm going to get. You know, all this or what's in it for me. That ain't love. You need to <laughs> carry yourself like that. That's not love. That's not God's love. That's what the world do. That's how the world do it. What you going to give me? If I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on interest. I want double. I want more. 
you know, I give you five dollars, as long as the five dollars, I want ten back. That's not God. <laughs> That's how the world said. That's what they do. It's like, I mean, whatever it is. You could be on school, student loan, whatever, you know. You could be like, you could be like, I mean, I borrowed this and everything. I got this from school, and then here it goes. In the long round, long, long, whatever. Whatever, I mean, month a year, they didn't want interest. They want even more. Ain't what I ain't, I ain't give y'all all this. I mean, I gave you what I got, what I got. I mean, why y'all want, like, interest? I mean, just enter then. If you borrow $5 from somebody or whatever, or $10, they want $20 back. Oh, $5, they want $10 back. They want extra. I mean, what kind of mess is that? Ain't never ain't operating in the world. It's not no love of God. Because God don't work in that aspect, in that, you know, in that area. Because that's not even, that's not even in this. Boundary. That's the world. That's how the world says. That's how the world mind is set. Because there's not no love in this world. But God so loved the world. He gave us on the forgotten Son that who shall ever give it, believe in him should not pray for everlasting life. So God wants us to love. You know, praise God. Help one another. You know, he's about there on the side of the road, whatever. It might be land. Maybe had a, probably had a seizure. You never know what's wrong, what happened to the person. You know, see what's going on. You know, you can't do much but call uh, ambulance for them, you know, long as you there, long as you stopped it, you know, and you see, you know, praise God. Because I don't know if you then that's just where you want somebody to stop and pull up for you, praise God. Hallelujah. Anyway, <laughs> God bless you. Now I'm praying for each and every last one in spite of what you're going through. I just know God is able. I just thank my Lord Jesus Christ. You know, what goes around comes around. You know, at that, that time I had, you know, I wasn't expecting nothing. In return, I just went out. Try to give her a jump, whatever, man. It just stayed on my mind all night. It's a stranger, somebody I never seen it before. I mean, just I ain't even never seen it in my life. I, I mean, I don't even know him. Ain't the first time I ain't gave somebody up. Somebody to give me a jump. You know, he stopped in front of my house with, with a little accident, but if you know, truck wouldn't start, and you know, they wouldn't them jump them. They need help. You know, you're all right. You know, I need you. They need to jump, and it's about helping. You know, that's love, about helping somebody. It's just a little thing. I mean, it's a little thing, you know. I mean, I mean, if I can do, I mean, I can do. But, I mean, you know, praise God. If I'm there at that time, it's blessed for me to be here at that time of pulling up and, you know, the driveway, whatever the time, is. see somebody just stuck hard, whatever, you know, stuck, whatever, whatever reason, you know, if I can help, I'm, I'm going to have my ass. You need help. Praise God. I mean, that's the love. That's the love that I have with God put it in me. I mean, back then in the world where when I before I was saved, I'd be like, Oh well, that's their problem. I ain't getting involved with that. You know, that's on them. Well, I mean, it's like I'm saying, so how would you feel if somebody do you like that? I mean, I don't think they want to be treated the way you want to you know, can you treat treating them all messed up, you know, I'm like, put your own shoes, put your own stuff in that situation. Would you want somebody to do you like that? I mean, I know I wouldn't praise God, but back then in the world where, you know, I wouldn't say, I didn't care. You know, that's how I used to think. I didn't care back then. But see, now God transformed my mind to his way of thinking. Love. You know, you can't say you love God and you treat everyone else all messed up and wrong, turn your back on them. You see them, you know, right there, whatever need help, and you're going to turn up the sheep. Well, that ain't my problem. I don't know them. I mean, they might eat it. I mean, think of negative stuff. You know, instead of taking the time out, you know, it could be the greatest person. You know, we all go through something. Praise God. Well, you know, God be put testing you, see if you gonna stop full up and see what's going on, maybe they did. Not I'm trying to ask for something in return, not trying to get some gas money from somebody. That ain't love either. <laughs> Praise God. Anyway, God bless you. And hey, Father, I pray for those watching. God bless you. God keep your pillow, be with you and lead you and guide you and protect you every area of your life. I pray you'll just put the love of your mind, your soul and your heart and your spirit to love one another love each other in Jesus name and not turning your back on not turning away from you got the time and you know you ain't doing nothing you see somebody out there I pray you just stop and give them a hand out you know a jump whatever it is maybe they just want you to pick up a bag or a piece of paper for them and they can't bend over or something you know just stop and just you know I mean maybe you might be walking maybe you, I mean you know something you know that you probably couldn't do you would want somebody to do something for you what goes around comes around treat the other way that you want to be treated show the love on your heart show that you love one another in Jesus name like Christ love first love you praise God God bless you today and God keep you in Jesus name my friend and I bring every sickness and every disease right now the Lord be with you and keep you and show you that love of a heart do it just do it 
Do the will of God for your life. Don't try. Don't go by what it's feel like. Don't go by what you're saying, what you can't. Because you can. And she's a thing. Glory be to God. God bless you and God keep you. And I pray no weapon form against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. Because God is love. In Jesus' name I pray. And God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. God bless you today as well as every day. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But anyway. I see y'all ladies the next time, or you'll see me ladies the next time, or God said the same. Remember, God love you, and so do I. You have a wonderful evening, and a blessed upcoming week. In Jesus' name, don't let the devil in hell see yours today, or no day. In Jesus' name, see you ladies the next time. God said the same.